This is called a vortex bladeless. Yes, yes. In fact, we have something like a one blade. It's a hollow tube, a vertical mast. We oscillate with the wind with the resonant. When two frequencies, the vortexes and the natural frequency of the structure start to move, uh, we have to, a way to collect energy from the wind, to transmit energy from the fluid to the structure. Is it complicated or is, I mean, how many moving parts do we have inside? Yes, we have no moving parts. We have no shafts, gears, gear rings. What we have is a carbon fiber rod that uh, absorbs the deflection okay, and nothing else. A standard alternator is basically a magnet that rotates inside a coil of copper wire. Movement of the magnetic field relative to the coil generates electricity. So in a car, for example, the engine spins the alternator, generating power to charge batteries and drive the electrics. The vortex alternator is a little different. The alternator is driven by a carbon fibre rod inside the cone. The hope is to roll out the vortex bladeless in cities, at less than three metres tall, they'd fit on a small roof, even an apartment balcony. The dream, though, is scaling up, so that one day, wind farms like these can be bladeless.